if you're planning to automate your manufacturing, you may hear a lot of different approach towards industry automation. However, you may be still left to wonder how to achieve the goal of automation without actual solutions. Manufacturers must begin to work with local technology companies to formulate a plan to integrate this new technology to meet industry for as a journey. What hardware and software is required to meet the challenges? Getting the experienced people in place is another challenge. Before moving forward, make sure you understand the new technologies and how you can use them to improve your manufacturing process. More importantly, make sure you have the right people in place to work together with you and get ready for the change. If you want to implement Industry 4 throughout the entire value stream in your manufacturing, create this five basic levels of industry automation. Let me put in a simple term. Level 1 is the glass group level. This glass group level contains all the devices such as measurements, instruments, sensor and actuator. Connecting what should be connected then come to the communication protocols. These connections enable the sensor and actuator to talk with the control system. And that bring you the second level of the automation. The second level of the automation is the monitoring and the control. Here, the control process and analyze the input from devices. Usually, this level consists of either a PLC or a DCS. The control layer allows operator to control all variables. If the input didn't match the set point, then the controller will send the output to the actual actuator to change the process value until they meet the set point again. For example, this is just like when you are cooking, when the temperature is too high, your food may be burned. And if your temperature is too low, you are un unable to get the food cold. So the cold will control and making the adjustment to meet the set point to get the best result for the food. Number three is the supervision level. This level has the supervisory control and data acquisition system. It stores the history of your process data over a certain period of time. With this historical data, you can study the pattern and troubleshoot if something goes wrong in your process. This level is where you can control multiple machines remotely from the data acquired from the previous level. Thus, enable the production team to monitor and supervise the operations of the work center and machine efficiency. Number four is the planning level. Now we come to the manufacturing executive system. This thought level capture and turn all this data into useful information for user to do analysis. This level involves the system called manufacturing executive system. This MES system monitor and track your complete manufacturing process flow from raw material to finished products. How much raw material in the process is used or how many final products the current conditions will produce. It also track machine downtime and overall machine effectiveness and utilization level. From the real-time data received, manufacturers can see exactly what happened and help them in their decisions making based on the MES data. This data is stored in the MES system and can also extend to the shortfall for production planning. Then, send to the server and host it at the LED television for monitoring every production line. The MES system makes everything simple. It is just like a butler at home. He will make every necessary arrangement to take care of the daily necessity from the toilet paper to the dinner on the table. The fifth level is focusing on business intelligence. 
This level, company is implementing their enterprise resource planning. At this point, the system has all the data from the whole business for management to see and control the operations. The management can see the whole operation inside the ERP system for all the departments, accounts, finance, sales, purchase, productions, warehouse, logistics, and so on. The management can see on the real time the functioning of the company and can make decisions quickly without compromising the productivity and efficiency of the company's operations, as well as business commitments such as purchase order, sales order, subcontracts order, and so on. These are the five basic levels of automation and I will go into more detail of industry automations and industry 4 on my following video. The ultimate aim is to improve the automation level in your factory so you can be more competitive otherwise you will lose out one day. That's all for my sharing today. I am Vivian. I help company to go automation and drive digital transformations of the manufacturing sector. Bye and see you in my next video.